Hey, how you doing? Good looking. My name is Christian, and welcome to the See Mexican Show. And uh, I last night I watched uh, Gen Thirteen the movie. And the funny thing about Gen Thirteen is that Gen Thirteen started as a comic book created by J. Scott Campbell, and it got m multiple uh, storylines and also uh, reboots here and there back in the '90s. But also during that time, they made a Gen Thirteen movie and. And I watched it ago. It was, it was so fascinating because I still quasi remember back in the day, um, my second eldest brother, uh, uh, rented that movie, and I, I kind of re somewhat remember some of the parts, but it was so long time ago, and I, I watched it again. It flooded back some some of the memories. So I go, oh, and experiencing that again, it's it's actually quite interesting because. It, it it kind of uh, uh, warped me back to the to that type of past. But anyway, if, if you're wondering if the movie is is still held up to this day, I would say yeah. There are certain there are certain aspects of this movie that you might enjoy. It's a it's also a very long lost movie as well. I I saw this movie uh, in in. And some of the YouTubes that also finally got a you know a copy of it and tried to watch it all along for myself, and uh, I got some something to say about it, and it's uh, it's really good. It's it, it it's 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 in its sorry if I repeat again. It's still stuck in that '90s that that old school '90s radical age. It's so cheesy that you still. You it, there's a slight cringe to it, but there's an uh, admiration of, of it as well because the certain dialogues here there go so dated, but some of the day some of the uh, conversations from the, some of the grunts are actually quite good. They're really they're somewhat uh, uh, interesting as well. Certain special effects are still quite good. Some of the uh, camera like surveillance camera stuff. Is actually nice. It's they really look like they came from a table with a lot of interlacing lines here and there, and for me, uh, it's it's something. It's a very interesting uh, watch, and uh, some of the fight scenes as well is very quite good. And to me, the, the, some of the flaws of that is just the the musical choices back in the day. It was grunge. And also uh, uh, lots of you know alternate rock back in the day, but there's also a lot of industrial uh, electronic music, and certain musical choices didn't jive very well. I go, mm, I didn't know about that one. That was the only thing. And also grunge, the character, and the funny thing about that character is that that surfer dude is the uh, <laughs> he was vo voiced by Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and. Uh, some of the slang didn't translate very well, but at least uh, back in the day, it's that uh, it's just dated. So at least uh, the uh, the the dialogue of grunge is lessened. It just it's sparse. At least we're focusing on uh, Caitlin, uh, Caitlin Fair uh, Fairchild. So for me, it's a uh, at least it's very entertaining to watch, and there, there, there's still those what are the '90s stereotype of character characterizations. Is it good? Actually, tolerable. It's not you know super cringy. The only, the only one who stuck out for a sore thumb for me is actually legit. It's still grunge, but overall, the dialogue is actually quite good. Number one, it still holds up. Two, visually. It's still in that, uh, in that square, that four, four by three, uh, frame, and uh, you know, oh well, but it, it still retains its its uh, image imagery, and uh, the the art style is still good. It, it looks like it came from you know that from the hands of you know Bruce Tim uh, and the animates uh, Batman the animated series. It actually is quite good. Some of the blood and guts are, that's actually quite good as well. Uh, and uh, that's about it. I, if my my uh, my 
my rating for this movie is if you really were super curious about uh, uh, a long lost movie from back in the 90s, the Gen, Gen 13, it's a good find, but also it is a good matinee watch. It's not a high matinee, not a low matinee, but it's a good one time watch. And what it's, you know, it, it, it's a very time capsule film, a uh, time capsule animated film that you kind of need to watch to experience it. And hopefully, you, you, might, you might enjoy it as well. So, and also, if you are interested in understanding the his uh the history of the gen 13 uh comic book i linked it into the the top of the video so you can watch it as well so i hope you enjoyed that review and uh i'll see you in the next review i think i'll have to check on my schedule and my movie list and on i on what i want to watch so hopefully i'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.